I'm Mel Mange. You're probably used to seeing me this way, on a television set, reporting the news every night at 6 and 10. Reporting the news is my business. On Friday, November 3rd, 1961, a 32-year-old young man named Mel Mains stepped through the doors of KOLN KGIN TV channels 1011 in Lincoln. Already an accomplished journalist, Mel had previously worked in Nebraska, Iowa, Missouri, and Kansas. During the next 34 years, Mel anchored the evening news on 1011. For thousands of Nebraska viewers across the state, Mel Mains became an institution within the Nebraska media and a household name for Nebraskans. And now, Mel Maines is being posthumously inducted into the Nebraska Broadcasters Association's Hall of Fame. During the next several minutes, we'll take a look back at one of Nebraska's premier newsmen, Mel Maines. A native of Holmesville, Nebraska, Mel was born 10 days before the stock market crash of 1929. He graduated from Wymore High School in 1947. Mel then spent one year at Doan College in Crete, originally planning to study astronomy. Mel also enrolled for one year at the University of Nebraska in Lincoln. At the age of 19, Mel started his broadcasting career in radio with KWBE in Beatrice in June 1949. He gained further experience as the farm director and newscaster for KMA Radio in Shenandoah, Iowa. He was drafted in 1951. During the Korean War, he served with the Army Hometown News Center in Kansas City, Missouri. Mel also worked for the KIMO radio station in Independence, Missouri, then KCTY-TV and WDAF-AM-TV in Kansas City. He later served as the executive director of the National Agricultural Hall of Fame in Bonner Springs, Kansas in 1959, as well as a public relations job in Kansas City from 1959 to 1961. In November of 1961, Mel joined joined KOLN KGIN TV in Lincoln. As could be expected, Mel did have a few first show jitters. I was very nervous because I hadn't really done that much television. It had been I'd been out of it for three or four years and I wanted to do very well because I was following a, a, a man who was very highly respected by Krasny. And I thought, can I really do this? And I was shaking so badly that the script was shaking obviously to the audience and I'm sure they were sitting out there laughing because I was having an excruciating time with that first news get. During his first decade at Channels 1011, Mel experienced many important moments, including an extensive remodeling of the station that doubled its size, its first translator tower, and its first use of videotape, all happening in 1965. Mel also anchored 1011's newscast during the station's first use of color cameras in 1967. One of those first color cameras from 1011 sits on display at UNL's Anderson Hall. Mel would later marvel at the early broadcasting technology. Mel continued to work at KOLN KGIN TV for 34 years. During that time, Mel covered eight presidential elections and more than three decades of Nebraska politics, as seen here in 1974. Now let's put our reporters to work briefly. First covering the top of the ticket, here's Mel Mann. My assignment tonight, the congressional races in the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd districts, the governor-lieutenant governor battle. During a 1986 election coverage show, former Senator Bob Thank Kerry, you. governor at the time, joined Mel in studio. Governor Bob Kerry, who four years ago certainly was not sitting here by me. He was uh, anxiously at uh, his campaign headquarters watching. Mel covered countless local news stories including the Commonwealth Savings Collapse. On one historical Lincoln morning, Mel anchored 1011's live broadcast of the implosion of the old Cornhusker Hotel. And we found out later that we had the largest audience of any single program ever on 1011, and I think that record still probably holds. Mel appreciated the responsibility that came with delivering daily newscasts and being such a trusted member of the community. We'd go to a small town, and they'd come up to you and say, I remember, I know you, I feel like I know you, you're part of our family, you come into our homes every day. That's something you have to think about. They invited us into their homes every day, and they still do. And I think that is a warm feeling to have, that, to know that you're wanted. When I came to Channels 1011 in 1987, Mel introduced me to the viewer. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. First, an introduction is in order. 
while she may be a stranger to 1011 viewers, she's no stranger to Nebraska. She's the new member of the 1011 News Team, Deb Collins, a native of North Platte. I'm... For the next nine years, I was privileged to work alongside Mel. In addition to covering the news, we were also given the opportunity to take part in community service projects, such as the Volunteer Connection Telethon in 1989. When Mel retired, I asked him what kept him motivated as he came to work day after day for so many years. I think the desire to do a job well, uh, that each day that ends you say, well, tomorrow I'm going to do a little better. And I've always tried to have that philosophy. I've always had the philosophy that do your job that you're expected to do and then do a little bit more. And so, yeah, I, the same thing doing the newscast day after day. As I say, if you had a bad day, and there are some very bad days, as you well know, either on your own part or something else goes wrong technically, uh, you go home and you say, I'm going back tomorrow and it'll be better. In one pre-retirement interview, Mel commented on the fame he had achieved as a result of so many years in front of the camera. People sometimes have said to me, well, don't you get tired of people coming up and saying to you, well, hi, Mel Mains, I've listened to you for years. I don't get tired of it because if they didn't say that to me, I wouldn't be do doing my job properly. They wouldn't be watching. Mel could think of only one reason for leaving the business. Well, Deb, <laughs> I want you to know, Ken Shimmick, God bless him, is the reason <laughs> I'm retiring because through the years he has reminded me so often of how old I am. So that, I decided I'm that is, to I do not want that wow. pressure on me. Mel retired on July 7, 1995, ending a 34-year career at 1011. During his retirement, Mel remained active, working in his garden, enjoying his grandchildren, and dancing the weekends away with his wife Karen and many friends. We lost Mel to cancer on May 26, 2003, and although many years have passed since Mel anchored his last newscast, his impact is still felt as we try to live up to the standards he set during his many years on air and behind the scenes. Now, Mel is being inducted into the Nebraska Broadcasters Association's Hall of Fame. It is a much-deserved award, and we are proud to be a part of this look back at Mel's career. I'd like to be remembered as a true friend I could trust, and that's the way I want to be remembered.